This is Mary Kay Miller and in this training video I'd like to show you how to embed a YouTube video into a blog post, a page, or even a widget on a WordPress blog. It's very very easy and it actually you can do it in less than two minutes. What I want to do is just run through all the steps with you. I have chosen one of the AAO uh, video scholarship winners to use as an example. When you find the video that you would like to embed, all you have to do is click on the um, link here so that you can go into the back end of the video. You'll notice here that you have the options of like, add to, share, or embed. I'd like you to click on the embed code. If you don't find an embed code, it's because they do not allow you to embed it into um, other sites. But normally you will find that embed button. And you'll notice that this HTML text is highlighted. This is the text that you will copy paste and put into the back end of the blog. However, before you do that, there are a few uh, things that I would like you to take a look at because you have different options that will be included in your bed, in bed code. Now, as we scroll down here a little bit, you'll notice that um, there are three boxes here. I have the first one unchecked and the first two checked. I always uncheck include related videos. This is so that related videos from practices that are uh, close to you in your IP address will not be included in uh, your marketing when you are embedding video. I would like you to click on enhance privacy mode. The reason that you do this is if you click this box and someone double clicks on a YouTube viewer, it will not take you back into the YouTube site. You will remain on the site where the code was embedded. And the third one is use iframe embed code. This allows you to um, have your video that you are embedding show up on an smartphone or on an iPad. So these three areas you can click or unclick as you want. However, I normally always unclick the first one and just automatically click the second two. Now as we move down here a little bit more, you'll also see that you can um, have different options of the size video that you want to include. And they start off at about 5, 425 pixels by 344, and you can get um, make them bigger as you go along. You also have the option of creating a custom video here. Uh, this custom video uh, width, all you have to do is put in the width and it will automatically change the height. This is great if you want to put a video into a sidebar. Now in all the orthopreneur sidebars, the uh, width that you would want to use would be 360 and then it will automatically rearrange the height if you just want to pop it into a sidebar widget. But for training purposes today, we're going to use the 425 by 344. Also, you'll notice here that there's these different colors. What this does is it allows you to change the color of the uh, actual bar at the bottom of your video to coordinate with your website. If you notice I click green and up here it turned to green. I normally leave it at white and gray but it's all personal preference. So once you have everything set the way you want, what you want to do is highlight the embed code. You want to right click, copy. We are now at the back end of a blog post and I've already set um, one up here called the AAO College Scholarship Winners Are Chosen. You'll notice that the written content is already here uh, to start the introduction to the video and what I want to do is I want to now embed the YouTube video. Now normally if you're working with a WordPress blog you would go up into the media area and embed in HTML. However if you embed the YouTube video code directly it makes it a lot easier. So if you notice here you are on the visual page but actually next to it is the HTML code page and on this page as we click onto it you'll notice that the text looks exactly the same. However if you want to embed any HTML code you do it here so that it shows up correctly on the visual page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to 
um, arrow down to where I want to put the embed code. I'm going to paste the information. You'll notice that the HTML code that was on the YouTube site is now showing up here. As I click back to the visual page, it will show you that a video viewer is in place. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save draft. And now that I've saved the draft, I'm going to click on preview. And you'll notice on the front of the blog post now there is a video viewer from YouTube. It's that easy. It's all it is is a cut and paste to determine what size you want to put. If you'll notice over here on the left hand side, there is a video viewer that was placed in a widget that was sized to um, actually this particular video is 360 pixels. All I did was take it out of YouTube, size it right, put it into the widget, copy paste the code, and voila, you have a video over there also.